to a Jackie Nelson. Check it out because there's an interesting thing going on in hip hop as we speak. Now, I've always said hip hop changes about every three to four years. The people you see relevant now, people will be over in three to four years. You know why? Because really, man, just like how people transition into high school and out of high school, the shit they like in high school, they won't like in college, okay? That's usually what happens unless the person becomes way bigger than average and then everybody fucks with them, okay? But if they're just trendy, if they're niche artists, sometimes the things you're into in middle school, you're not into in high school. Things you're into in high school, you're not into in college, all right? So every three to four years, you see music change because the generation and their liking it changes, okay? Now, um, the, the music is changing because there's a bunch of artists that you guys probably don't know. I know about them because it's my job to really know about them. But artists like Lil Uzi Ver, Lil Yashi, um, um, Trill Sammy, artists like those, some people might be like, who the fuck are they? They don't have big singles, but they're very popular via the internet. All right, they have thousands of fans who love them, who adore them. And then the artists who were there before them, they kind of look at these new artists and say, wait. Why is everybody jumping on this new wave? They're basically not doing nothing new. They're doing what I already did. Why am I not getting the credit for basically them using some shit that I kind of came up with? Okay, so we're seeing that a lot. We're going to cover a case with OG Mako and a little Uzi Verth, but... Right now, we have Sauce Walk, okay? He's a Houston artist. He's been doing things for a while. Everybody knows him. I mean, recently, he's had issues with Drake. He says Drake, you know what I mean? He was still in the dripping. Hey, man, I'm going to tell y'all niggas like this. I'm from Splash Town, not Ace Town, because y'all Ace Town niggas is looking gay. All this fake-ass shit going on in my motherfucking city, nigga. These niggas don't fuck with us, nigga. Niggas using us, nigga. Y'all need to start paying attention to the deep, nigga. Come down here, nigga, using our culture, nigga, for lyrical content, nigga. And I ain't giving shit back but a family fun day and some money to some hoes he tricking on in the club, you fucking idiot. This bitch ass nigga make music with artists from everywhere but Houston. But he feel with H10. It's plain and simple, bro. I'm just stating the facts, my nigga. Every artist that say that they fuck with Houston, they do music with us. Boosie, Future, Lil Wayne, the Migos. All of these niggas have done music with us. Not the sauce. Name the song Drake got with your favorite oh, rapper. Oh, I missed this one. Now y'all see, I was minding my own business. I wasn't even bothering, buddy. Oh, buddy, then trip that. The one see the. Ooh, he done started some bullshit. Every tweet is he still. I said get out of this nigga bitch Oh, you thought bright skinned niggas was winning, light skinned niggas, huh? Oh, you fucked with the wrong black ass nigga today, boy. Oh, hey. He says I'm also. Future was, of course, still in the sauce with making songs like dripping and shit like that and even using certain lingos. And he basically said people have been just robbing from Houston culture. Now, he puts out a tape and he's putting out a cover art that's seemingly calling out four people. And yes, he has Drake. He has Future. And yes, you can't see none of their faces. It's turned backwards. But the other two people that appear to be on this cover are Trill Sammy and also Famous Dex. Okay, Famous Dex is on the far right, and on the far left, we have Trill Sammy, then Future's in the middle, right next to Drake. Basically, both Trill Sammy and Famous Dex responded, because you know Future and Drake, they ain't gonna respond to no Sauce Waka. So, Trill Sammy said this on Twitter. He says, yo, you had your chance to put on. Now, sit back and watch. Hashtag Holy Sammy. Obviously, a play off the name of the title for Sauce Walker's tape or song, whatever it's called, Holy Sauce. Now he's saying Holy Sammy. Then Famous Dex, he took more of a mature and humble approach to responding because he actually put up a picture with someone saying that he was showing love to the sauce. And this person named YQ said, I swear, Famous Dex, real as fuck for showing love to sauce. Real niggas give credit where it's due. Hashtag real ass nigga. And Famous Dex said, listen, I've never been a hater because I always have my own shit. Stay humble and keep working. 612 2K16. All right. Now, basically, man, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I fuck with Sauce Walker. I think he's so different. And I definitely see him as a pioneer for a lot of shit going on. I'm not going to lie. Listen, I don't have to sugarcoat it. When I listen to Famous Dex and even some of the slangs and some of how he puts down his rap and some of the shit he's doing, I definitely see a Sauce Walker influence 
in him, right? I see the same with Joe Sammy as well. Now, Drake in future, I don't know. Drake is definitely borrowed from Houston culture at times. I'm not sure if it's specific. Actually, yes. Actually, yes, yes. Not all the time, but Drake is definitely borrowed from Sauce Walker for a period of time. I've heard references. We've seen the dances. Uh, yes, okay. Now, future, I don't know about no future in Sauce Walker, but he's claiming all four of them. I'm going to say this is it, right? It doesn't matter. And when I mean it doesn't matter, hip-hop is becoming a place where People just don't even care about the guy who used to do it. They only care about the guy who's doing it now. I mean, that's the word we're about to get to with designer. Like, right now, people are saying, oh, designer's copying future. But if he keeps making hits, people are going to be like, future's copying designer. This is how the world works. The shit is backwards. I'm not going to lie. It got to be annoying to people like Sauce Walker, who thinks he doesn't get enough credit. And he possibly sees, listen, you know how future said, running with the wave, you get killed quick? Well, obviously, Sauce Walker looking at people running with his wave, and he probably said, God damn, I'm not getting acknowledged, I'm not getting no type of clout, and I'm still trying to make it, and niggas is trying to take my style and further their careers with it, and they might even go further than me. Unfortunately, man, the hip-hop fans now that really fuck with these artists, they just don't give a fuck. The fans of Trill Sammy and, of course, Famous Dex, they just don't give a fuck if actually uh, Sauce Walker has a point. They just don't give a fuck. I'm sorry to say I care a little bit, but the new generation of hip-hop fans as hip-hop changes, they don't care about a nigga who's been doing it for a while. They care about the new. And unfortunately, these guys are the new. They're not going to be saying, oh, let's go fuck with Sauce Walker, unfortunately. They're just going to co-sign the guys that are doing it now. So while I do think credit should be given, right, I don't think it really will be, and I don't think the fans will care enough to even look at the people who influence the guys they like now. Unfortunately, but it's very true. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. Sauce Walker, I agree with you on certain things, but listen, man, to be honest, a lot of people are going to come out and just say you a hater just for even pointing it out. It's this current state that we live in in music where people don't even want to hear you complain. That's why I got a motto. I don't complain. I adjust. All right? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. I'm out.